Praise the Lord Church. Today's Bible meditation is taken from 1 Kings chapter 22, 2 Kings chapter 1, Proverbs chapter 15 and 2 Corinthians chapter 4. You're new to Living God family, a very warm welcome to you in Jesus' name. Hope this video will be a blessing to you as you hear and listen to the thoughts as we read through the Bible together. I encourage you to read the chapters during your personal devotion time and become recipients of listening to God's voice daily. 1 Kings chapter 22 verse 43 And he walked in all the ways of his father Asa. He did not turn aside from them, doing what was right in the eyes of the Lord. Nevertheless, the high places were not taken away, for the people offered sacrifices and burned incense on the high places. 2 Kings chapter 1 verse 12 So Elijah answered and said to them, if I am a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume you and your fifty men. And the fire of God came down from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. Proverbs chapter 15 verses 16 and 17 Better is a little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure with trouble. Better is a dinner of herbs whose love is than a fatted calf with hatred. Second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18 while we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. God the Almighty, our Heavenly Father, reigns from everlasting to everlasting. God created us in His image for us to dwell in His holy presence, to worship Him for all eternity. Sin separated us from God and we lost our dwelling in the holy communion with God Almighty. However, God in His grace and mercy sent His Son Jesus Christ and restored our lost relationship to regain access to dwell in His holy presence. May God the Holy Spirit help us to understand these deep things and set our minds on things that are permanent than temporary momentary pleasures of this world to dwell with Him for eternity. Thank you for the privilege of your time in watching the videos and being part of Living God community. God bless you all abundantly as we are all created to be holy and happy in Christ Jesus. Amen.